07 everybody welcome we're going to quickly jump into a tutorial about differential braking in anticipation of the FW200C1 Condor raid on the Atlantic event that we have planned for this weekend uh, I found through testing that it's essentially impractical to ground handle the Condor uh, when we're going to be doing our taxiing portions of the mission unless you have differential braking set up. Now you can do it without the differential braking, however it's uh, it, it's way more effort than it's than it's really worth. So we're gonna jump into the match here and show you guys um, you know how to set up those controls, what differential braking is and uh, you know how it works in the game. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. You see here we've got our uh, We got our FW200 Condor here parked on the airfield. We're going to be using this aircraft uh, from parking to get to the runway. And I got my engines on about 14% throttle. If you're fully spaded, we'll get the plane moving. Now, once the plane is moving, uh, you can see if I want to make a right hand turn and I go full rudder right as my only directional input, it takes a little while. We cover a lot of forward distance before we get a turn going. And you know, even once we get that turn going, it's not extremely effective. And if I want to switch directions and go the other way, there's quite a bit of lag time between where that right turn stop stops and the left turn begins. So, the way we're going to remedy that, and so that everybody has good precision control on the ground, is we're going to set up our differential braking. Now, differential braking is... Let me zero out my throttle. Differential braking is how aircraft steer on the ground in real life. Uh, they have a left brake and a right brake, and if you come in here to your full wheel controls under mechanization, you'll see a left brake and right brake are separately bindable. Now, if you haven't done anything with this, they're probably set as B by default, which activates both the left and right brake, which defeats the purpose of differential brake. Now, you can leave B on here, there's no problem with that, but what I want you guys to do is double click on your left brake and put the maximum value as Q, which is also going to be your yaw left. Just go ahead and add that, so now your left rudder is also your left brake. Same thing for the right brake. Double click on that. Give it an E, which is your yaw right. So your right rudder is also your right brake. Now I'm going to bind my rudder pedals because I have those. If you have them, feel free to auto detect axis and stomp on your pedals and bam, and you'll have your rudder pedals as well. But Q and E will work just fine for our purposes. Now go ahead and save those controls. And let's check out the difference here. So. Again, 14% throttle on the engines. Plane begins to move. Now, if I want to make a left turn, I could just hold that left brake, kind of let, let my plane get a little bit of momentum, left rudder it, and I could sit here and pivot on that left wheel. And I can make a 90 degree turn with the aircraft without really making any forward movement at all. If you want to add a little bit more power, you can even turn faster and you have way more precise control you can see that left gear is not moving whatsoever and if I want to stop this left turn instantly bam right right brake right rudder turn stops and now I'm in a right hand turn so I could sit here and crab this thing all the way down all the way down to the runway so if you need to make any kind of particular turns you've got it now at speed this works really well so the FW200 is pretty nasty at getting into ground loops and you can see I'm in one now but I'm able to fix it with rudder and differential braking and this is going to help you guys a lot for getting around these obstacles if you take any of the advanced or intermediate uh, spawns that have obstacles that you're going to need to navigate around you can see at the bottom of the screen there my left rudder and my left brake activating my right rudder and my right brake left rudder left brake and I can sit there and precisely maneuver this aircraft around any obstacle that I want using my third person gunner views and that differential braking so consider taking a moment to set all that up so you can follow these taxiways and make our taxi look absolutely fan damn -tastic. again one more time we're gonna show you guys how to get to it in the controls go to your controls menu full wheel controls mechanization left brake right brake bind Q for the left bind E for the right and then save it and you're all done and you're ready for today's mission, or this weekend's mission, rather. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Try to keep these really quick, and uh, I hope that helps you guys. That's not only going to be beneficial for the Condor, but every aircraft, especially tail draggers, which are 
uh, known for their uh, subpar ground handling. It's uh, extremely difficult to uh, to get those things precisely tuned on the ground, and that differential braking will make a huge difference. So take care. I uh, hope to see you guys at the event, and uh, until next time, play safe, good hunting, 07.